Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. When you go to Strasburg, PA, you don't just go and do one thing. There's too much to see in Strasburg to just go and do one thing. You have to do as much as possible. Squeeze in as many stops as you can. I recently went to Strasburg to go to the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania to check out their model railroad days. I did a couple of videos on that, and if you haven't seen those, check them out. It was very cool to see all the model railroads in the museum. Before I even got to the museum, I had to stop and check out the Strasburg train shop. I spent a few minutes, looked around, and came home with some goodies. I did not have the time, however, to check out the layout at the Choo Choo Barn. I walked into the gift shop, looked around for a moment, but then had to go. So that's on my list of things for next time. While I was taking a break from filming the model railroads at the museum, I went outside and got some pictures of the real trains that were in the yard. And after that, I went across the street to the Strasburg Railroad and I rode the open air car behind number 89. It was a great day for a ride. Sun was going down, it made for a really picturesque ride. So this video has a few parts. My visit to the Strasburg train shop, some of the pictures from the railroad museum, and then video from my ride along the Strasburg Railroad. Maybe next time I'll have enough time to stop at the Choo Choo Barn. If you're in Strasburg, you have to stop at the Strasburg train shop. It's located just next to the Choo Choo Barn. You really cannot miss it. Me being me, I was looking for bargains. And I found a few that I could come home with. One was this slightly damaged, but still completely usable, Weaver Santa Fe boxcar. The wheels are a little rusty. I think they'll clean up fine. And worst case scenario, I've got some extra trucks. But I really think these will be fine just as they are. For $10, I got another boxcar. Can't complain about that. I walked around the store a couple times. They have a pretty good selection, and I did find some other things I was interested in. Uh, there were a couple of G-scale passenger cars. Uh, they were kind of dirty and on the floor, but the price was nice and low. And I was thinking, you know, that would be really cool. But the last thing I need right now is to get distracted with another gauge. I mean, I have some LGB stuff, but these cars wouldn't have looked right on that tight radius that I've got. So I knew it would probably start me down a rabbit hole and I'd end up with a huge loop of track and then I'd want other engines and other cars. So I made the wise choice to leave them there. There currently aren't a lot on my layout because, well, obviously I'm not quite to the detailing stage, but I do love the old billboards. For $4, I picked up a bag of the billboard frames, and it looks like it's got a billboard or two in there. I don't know the vintage on this little one, but that's fun. I can definitely use that on top of a building or something. Another little frame? Oh, okay. I thought maybe there was only one actual billboard in here, but uh, we have a baby Ruth that someone wrote John on a DuPont antifreeze, a dirty baby Ruth, but it hasn't been written on, so I'll probably use that one, and a cyclomatic frigid air with automatic defrosting. Somebody mounted these plastic frames onto wood bases. I would probably break off the wood base and use those. Uh, these are great for business cards. They fit like right in there, and it makes a cool kind of custom billboard. And also you can kind of advertise your favorite train shops that way. So there's two with a wood base and one that's just regular and intact and not covered with glue. So that's nice. And one big frame. For four bucks, I'm a happy guy. For six dollars, I know, I'm, I'm really breaking the bank here. For six dollars, I got this huge bag of fence pieces. You might ask why? I might ask the same question. I have some of these split rail white fences and I like them, but I just don't have enough to really do much with. So when I saw this, I was like, you know, if they don't look good enough to put in the foreground, 
I could definitely use them for, you know, detail further back from the front of the layout so they don't stand out too much. But for six bucks, I figured there's got to be some decent pieces in here to use. A whole bunch of the basic split rail. Got some of the gates. And I hadn't seen these before, and these are kind of neat. You could fence. So that will be fun to use. Even if there's not a lot of them, I think they're going to look really good in a spot or two. I mean, that's enough to put across the front of a house if I just want to add some detail up front. So that's pretty exciting. There might be like 10 or 15 of these, maybe about 10 gates, and the rest look to be the basic fence piece. So I might be able to get a really long split rail fence somewhere. So for 20 bucks, I came home the boxcar, the billboards, and these fences. That's a worthwhile stop, if you ask me. Unfortunately, I did not have time to stop at the Choo Choo Barn. That is definitely on my list of things to do. I mean, I did go into the, the gift shop, but I, I didn't have time to get in and view the layout. And I really, really need to prioritize that. But hopefully before too long, I can get that done.
There's a rake, a fire rake. Strike the fire. There's the pit. Well, you know, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.